scientists and operational users alike with valuable information on the ocean's changing face. A Boeing Delta II launch vehicle will deliver the satellite into orbit around Earth from Vandenberg Air Force Base in California late in 2001. Jason-1 is an international mission between the United States and France dedicated to providing data on the Earth's oceans. The oceans play a fundamental role in maintaining Earth's habitable climate. Understanding the dynamics of ocean circulation and the role it plays in climate change is the main goal of JPL's ocean altimetry missions. Jason-1 will carry on the legacy of Topex Poseidon by continuing to provide data to ocean and climate researchers, marine operators, and other operational users. Soon after separation, Jason-1 deploys its solar array and all instruments are powered up. From 1,336 kilometers above Earth, Jason-1 measures the hills and valleys of the ocean surface to an accuracy of 4 centimeters. Three independent systems on Jason-1 are used to measure the satellite's location. The Turbo Rogue Space Receiver uses Global Positioning System satellites to determine the exact position of the spacecraft. The Doris instrument determines the satellite's position and velocity by processing signals received from a network of over 50 ground stations across the globe. The Laser Retro Reflector Array is a laser tracking target on the spacecraft that reflects laser beams from ground stations. The Jason-1 Microwave Radiometer measures atmospheric water content to correct for the radar signal delay. The Poseidon Altimeter uses radar waves to precisely measure the distance between the satellite and the ocean's surface. As a follow-on to Topex Poseidon, Jason-1 will continue to monitor global ocean circulation and the effect that it has on climate and weather. Jason-1 is placed into a position as close as 60 seconds away from Topex Poseidon. For up to six months, the satellites operate in a calibration mode where their instruments are fine-tuned with respect to each other. At the end of the calibration phase, Topex Poseidon will maneuver to change its orbital position relative to Jason-1. The older spacecraft will be commanded to move onto a parallel ground track so that it will be midway between two adjacent Jason-1 ground tracks. Jason-1 and Topex Poseidon will fly in this tandem mission configuration for as long as the senior spacecraft is operational. By double teaming the oceans in this way, we will be increasing our global coverage of data twofold. Every 10 days, scientists are able to produce a global map of ocean surface topography. With this knowledge, scientists can then calculate the speed and direction of global ocean currents. With these and future ocean altimeter missions, oceanographers will have long-term data to monitor global ocean circulation, discover the tie between the oceans and atmosphere, improve global climate predictions, and forecast and monitor important weather events such as El Nino and La Nina. Radar altimeters have allowed oceanographers to gain more knowledge during the last 20 years than they have acquired during the previous 200 years. Jason-1 and its successors will enable critical measurements that extend our knowledge of the ocean's role in climate over the long time scales needed to observe changing global climate and weather. This has been a golden age for, for astronomy now.